Okay, uh, welcome to this uh, video presentation. Well, we want to deal with the, uh, the past paper uh, from the basic education department, which is the basic education public of South Africa. Okay. All right. So this is the national senior certificate that is grade 12, mathematics paper one of the year 2018 in the month of February, March. The number of marks is 150, the time in which you write this paper is three hours. All right, so in this presentation, we are going to do just the first question. Okay. You need to answer all the questions, which are 11. Okay, so. Okay, let's see what happens. Um, question one. Uh, we are saying so for X for these two equations. Let's so for x. Okay, so how do we solve for x? So the first one, uh, when you look at the first one, you realize that it is a quadratic e uh, equation. All right, so the number of marks might indicate also to you that uh, there's a possibility that you can round off. So uh, that you can factorize, sorry. So so if you look at the second question, they are asking you to write the correct two decimal places, meaning that uh, you cannot factorize or they are somehow tricky to factorize. So for the first one, we are going to say x squared, x squared minus 6x minus 16 is equal to zero. So we can factorize by finding the product, which is negative 16. Our sum is negative six. So you must identify two factors of negative 16, whose sum is negative six, all right? And these factors are positive two, and negative eight. So substituting negative two, a positive two and negative eight into the equation, we have got x squared plus two x minus eight x minus 16 is equal to zero. So factorizing this, we have x open bracket, because when you factorize this, x is the one that is common. So we've got eight plus two plus uh, minus eight, uh, minus eight, open the bracket. So we have uh, a negative eight into eight, uh, negative eight x, you have got x plus two is equal to zero. So again, the common factor here is x plus two and uh, x minus eight. This is equal to zero. So this means that x is equal to negative two or x is equal to eight. So that is your answer. You're done for that one. Okay, so question one, point one, point two. So we are trying to solve this equation. Uh, two x squared, plus seven X, seven X minus one is equal to zero. So we can use the quadratic formula, which is negative B plus or minus the root of 
b squared minus 4ac, everything you divide by 2a. Now, here, our a, let me write it here, our a is the coefficient of x squared, which is 2. Our b is 7, and our c is negative 1. So you need to do the correct substitution. So you're going to say x is equal to negative 7 plus the root uh, 7 squared minus 4. What is our a? Our a is 2. And what is our c? Our c is 7. So everything throughout should be divided by 2 by a. And what is our a? Our a is 2. OK. I hope that is OK. Then uh, we move on. OK. We move on. OK, so what does this give us? So x is equal to negative 7 plus or minus the square root of. So when you square 7 of 49, all right, so minus, um, minus 8 by, by uh, 7. So when you work out that, um, you're going to get 57. All right, you can work out that on your calculator and here it is two. So, so X will be equal to, so when we say negative seven plus, uh, okay, uh, negative seven, I'm trying to calculate. Negative seven, it's a minus negative seven plus the square root of square root of fifty seven. We are going to get something like zero point five four nine eight three four four three five. But this should be divided by two direct. When divided by two, what do you get? Uh, okay. Just a minute. Uh, please take note. Um, take note, we are saying negative seven plus the, the root of 57. Okay, what do we get? I would, yeah. So this answer divided by two. So, uh, you're going to get,
Okay, uh, please, it's important to take note that this is supposed to be four because this one is supposed to be four. Okay, so uh, now uh, we can, uh, can calculate it so that I demonstrate to you. Uh, I hope you are using a calculator there. So, so when we divide 0 0.5498344435 by four, uh, what do we get? Okay, we get the following. Okay, we get, um, so we are going to get uh, 0 0.13745 uh, But we round it off to three, uh, two decimal places, meaning that you cut a line here, you consider this as one, one plus three is four. So it means the answer is 0 0.14. This is the first value, all right? That's the first value. So, meaning that the last value, uh, the last value will be the same. So we are going to say negative seven minus the square root of 54 divided by, divided by four. So our final answer will be negative but the 3.664, okay. It means you are done with that e equation. All right. Okay, let, uh, let's uh, deal with the uh, two, 2.2. 2. Okay, let me just erase this. Two point two. Okay, so two point two. We are saying lists all the integers that are uh, solutions to. Uh, x squared minus 25. Okay, so x squared minus 25. This must be less than um, must, uh, zero. So we can work out this using difference of two squares. We have got x squared minus five squared is less than zero. So this would be x minus five and x plus five. This is less than zero. So this simply means that X minus five is less than zero, or it is X plus five, which is less than zero. All right, so this means that, this implies that we have got X is less than five, or X is less than negative five. Okay, so meaning that, the, the, the lower limit or the lower value is negative five and the upper limit should be up to five. So this will imply that we are going to say uh, the, the values of X will range from, the values of X should do range from or should run between negative five, should be less than X and this X should be less than e, five. Okay, what does it mean? This Im uh, implies that X now is equal to a set of all numbers in between here. That is negative four, negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, 
two, uh, three, up to four. Take note, we do not have bars here. So five and never five and never included. I hope that is okay. Okay, good. So let's go to the next question. Uh, a simultaneous equation involving a linear and a quadratic. Involving a linear and quadratic. Involving a linear and quadratic. Involving a linear and quadratic. Okay, so I'll start from here. So this is the equation that we are solving. So for X and Y, and there were six marks. So the equations that we are solving are negative two Y plus X is equal to one. This is my equation one, then x squared minus seven minus y squared is equal to negative y. So this is my equation two. So we can use equation one and make x a subject of the formula, meaning that we'll say this will imply that x is equal to two y plus one, because uh, this is a, a positive. It's a additive, uh, additive inverse is positive two y. All right, so I'll call this equation equation three. So we are going to substitute now equation three in equal into equation two. So what does it mean? We are going to say open bracket two y plus one squared minus seven minus y squared is equal to negative one. Now, upon expanding this using a binomial or indeed another method, uh, what do we get? You're gonna get four y squared uh, minus four y, all right, plus one, then minus seven minus y squared minus y, all right? So we can try to group the like terms so this will give us 4y squared minus y, negative 4y uh, take note, this is supposed to be equal to negative y. So negative 4y plus y squared plus one minus seven is equal to zero. So this is three y squared minus three y minus six is equal to zero. So this will mean that dividing by three throughout. So if we divide this, we divide this by three, I've got y squared minus y minus two y is equal to zero. So we can solve this using a quadratic expression. So my product will be negative two, my sum is negative one. So factors are negative two and one. All right, when you multiply, you get negative two, when you add, you get negative one. So this will simplify as follows, y squared plus y minus two y minus two is equal to zero. So here, what is common is y, open bracket, y into y squared is y plus one, minus two, because two is common. So what y plus one is equal to what? Zero. So again, here, what is common is y plus one. Then we get y minus two to put in brackets. This means that, this means that y, is equal to one, is equal to negative one, or indeed y is equal to two. I hope that is okay. 
So if y is equal to negative one and y is equal to two, we can now find the corresponding values of x. Okay, so so let's find the corresponding values of x. All right, so we are going to say uh, when y uh, when y is equal to two, for example, y is equal to two, what is x? Then when y is equal to uh, uh, negative one, then what is x? That's what we want to find. So we'll say x is equal to two open bracket y is two minus one. So x is equal to three. Or y is equal to, uh, sorry, x. So x, so x will be equal to two open bracket negative one plus one. So x is equal to negative two plus one. So x is equal to uh, x is equal to uh, okay, just a minute. Okay, so please take note, uh, here x is negative one. So this should be negative and not positive. Take note of that. So I think we when calculating what was in my mind was uh, um, negative. So I'm sure the calculations are okay, but what was in my mind was negative. That is why even here you've seen I've written a negative here. So here it must be negative, all right? And the answer will be negative, uh, uh, negative three. So this is uh, therefore, yeah, the solution, the set of solution is uh, three comma two and negative three comma negative one. Okay, that's that for that one. Okay, so we can uh, deal with the other questions under part one. The questions for part one. Uh, 
Okay, questions for part G1. Okay, then you were saying evaluate three to the power 2018 plus three to the power 2016 divided by three to the power 2017, All right? There are a lot of methods that we can take. Uh, if one, we can split this. Want we can split this and say this is uh, three to the power 2018 over three to the power 2017 plus three to the power 2016 divided by three to the power 2017. All right. So this will imply that uh, uh, 2017 into 2018, you have got three to the power one plus uh, 2017 into that or 2016 minus 2017. So you have got three to the power negative one. All right, this implies that you have got three plus one over three. And the answer is three and the effect. This is our answer. Okay. That's our answer for that one. Then uh, the next question, which is uh, 1.5. So question one had five questions. All right, so. All right, for which values, for which values of X will this be real? All right. Okay, so for this to be real, we are saying, uh, we are going to say the, the root of three X minus five is equal to zero. All right, we can equate that to zero. All right. But can be zero or greater than zero. So when you introduce the square both sides, you have got three X minus five is greater or equal to zero. At this point, we are saying, and X must never be equal to three because if x is equal to three, you have got three minus three, which is what? Zero. And this is the undefined. All right, this is the undefined, but we want it to be real. Okay, so. Okay, so we proceed. So we're saying and x must never be equal to three. So this is x, uh, three x greater or equal to five. You divide by three, you divide by three. X must be greater or equal to five over three. And to emphasize, x must never be equal to what? Three. Then that will be real. 
that will be real. All right, the last part for this presentation, uh, the last part for this presentation, the last part for this presentation, the last part for this presentation. Okay, we are saying, let's find uh, two of x, all right? Two of x is equal to one, so let's solve for x. Being told, we go back to the question that uh, two of x is that, so we've been told that, let me solve it from here, t of x is equal to the root of 3x minus 5 over x minus 3. But this is, must be equal to 1, All right? So what does that mean? We we'll say 3 over 3x minus 5 with its root over x minus 3. So to get rid of the root, we can square this and you're going to square the other side, all right? So this means that you have got three X minus five over X minus three, you square it is equal to one, all right? So you can multiply, or you can introduce an imaginary one, then you multiply this by one, okay? so. What you're going to have, okay, allow me to erase. Okay, allow me to erase. That I have this space. So, what you're going to have is, um, x minus three to the power two is equal to three x minus five. Now, upon expanding this, upon expanding that, what do we get? So you are going to get x squared minus six x plus nine. This is equal to three x minus five. So grouping the terms, we have got x squared minus nine x, well, this uh, tends to be a negative. All right. Then again, the additive inverse of negative five is positive five, so to be positive fourteen is equal to zero, meaning that our sum, our product is fourteen, but our sum is negative nine, meaning that the factors are negative two, negative seven. Okay, so so we are saying x squared minus 2x minus 7x plus 14, this will be equal to zero. So x, open bracket, x minus two. So here, what is common seven? x uh, minus two is equal to zero. Again, what is common here is x minus two, then uh, x minus seven is equal to what? Zero. So this implies that x is equal to two or x is equal to what, seven, all right? But now when you check here, when you check here, let me change uh, this. So, when you check here, if you put uh, two here, you have got three by two minus five over uh, two minus three. Will this give us one? So this three by two is six minus one, it's one. Over two by uh, two minus three is negative one. And the answer is negative one, meaning that it will not give us that. So it means we discard the negative x. So X must never be equal to two, all right? But 
x must be equal to seven. And this is our answer. I hope that is okay. I hope that is fine. Uh, please look out for the next uh, questions that we are going to do from question uh, two up to question 11. Please, for more videos, subscribe to this channel for you to be able to get uh, most of the contents of the South African mathematics. That is the senior certificate, which is grade 12. Thank you, all the best. Till next time, this has been uh, Mr. Piri. You can reach me on 0978-56-5876. Till next time, shalom, shalom. Thank <laughs> you.